while ago I was sitting in my office and minding my own business and suddenly this little black and white cat walked in meowing at me and seemed to be very friendly so I walked over to her and uh, gave her a little bit of a head rub and I got a leg rub and so she seems to be very friendly so I said okay let's see how friendly you are so I picked her up and she was purring her little head off I said oh a very friendly cat and the final test is when you cradle the cat like a little baby with one hand you hold the hind legs and with the other hand you hold both front legs tight and if she tolerates it that cat is yours and so f f suddenly I had a cat I was adopted the only trouble is I'm highly allergic to animal saliva so um, that was not an ongoing situation I had here. I mean, I've got some pills, but I can't take pills 24 hours a day. It's not, not good. So, um, yeah, so I took the cat in and um, bought her something to eat. And um, we called her, I eat a lot. That cat ate like there was no tomorrow. And later on, we found out why. Yeah, so uh, talking about cat logic, um, I made her a little place where she could sleep. She sleep, she sleeps right beside it. Okay, <laughs> what can you do? So she was not accepting her little her little hideout. So she had no interest in cardboard boxes like cats usually have. The only thing she wanted was cuddles, day in, day out. 24 hours a day if possible. That cat was just amazing. And that was the first cat I have ever experienced that did not play at all. So then the next thing was finding out where the cat came from. So I asked the whole neighborhood. I went everywhere, even three, four streets further on. Nobody was missing a black and white cat. I said, oh, okay. So um, I took the cat to the vet and had a, he had a look at her and uh, also checked if she had a chip, but she had no chip, so we couldn't find out where she came from, but he told me she's pregnant.